the question is, what's Melissa going to do now that it's pushed across the Caribbean? So you can see this now. So Melissa, it, it brought devastating impacts to Jamaica, to Cuba, uh, and nearby other Caribbean islands. Uh, it's now pushed towards Bermuda, but whilst when it reached Jamaica, it was still a Category 5 and had sustained winds of 185 miles per hour. And even by the time it made landfall in Cuba, it was still a Category 3, so a major hurricane. But as it's pushed now towards Bermuda and is now crossed Bermuda, it's weakened to a Category 1 with sustained winds only of around 90 miles per hour. I say only, that's still very strong, so very windy, very wet, and is still going to bring some further impacts, and they're still on alert. But... What then happens to the low? So it's this area of low pressure here. And if I run it through the next couple of days, and you can see the jet stream, the pink shades and the fast moving arrows indicating where we have the jet stream. And the low pressure does actually start to deepen again as it makes its way across the Atlantic towards us. And you can see it's getting closer and closer. And uh, if you watched Donna's Deep Dive, even if you watched Aidan's 10-day trend, he spoke about the, there being some uncertainty about the track that it was going to take. And earlier on in the week, there were some forecast tracks that took the low much closer towards, well, towards Spain, even closer towards Africa, so much further south, even some that took it more across the UK. However, as, as you, we always see, as we've got nearer the time, we've found up a bit more on the details, and now it looks like the low pressure is going to track, yes, across the Atlantic, init initially towards the UK, but before it gets particularly close, it's likely to track a bit further northwards, more towards Iceland. And so it never really gets especially close towards the UK. Now, if I stop it here, and if I put our uh, rain on instead, I'll leave the fronts and the isobars on, and also let's put our winds. And it is going to bring some wet and windy weather as we go through the back end of Sunday and into Monday. So yes, it is going to be unsettled, but not especially impactful. We may need some rain warnings across western parts where the rain's going to be heavier, so we may possibly even need some wind warnings. We're talking coastal gales, maybe severe gales in some exposed western spots and uh, more inland areas, gusts of around 40 miles per hour perhaps. So it is going to be wet, it is going to be windy, but nothing out of the ordinary, really, for the time of year. Now, a few other things that I wanted to show you when it comes to Melissa. So here is the official forecast track from NHC, and you can see it's crossed uh, or just pushed over Bermuda, and you can see the official forecast track has it losing its hurricane status uh, early on Saturday morning US time, and uh, then it pushes its way eastwards, and it goes with the idea that, yeah, it's uh, not going to be especially close towards the UK. The other thing that I wanted to highlight is, uh, oh, actually, that's not going, we'll cover that in a second. The other bit that I wanted to talk about is the potential tracks that it could take. So I already mentioned that there was some uncertainty, um, but there's less uncertainty about it than there is currently. Uh, sorry, there's less uncertainty than there was in the past. And you can see that here. Here I have ECMWF data, and this is hur Hurricane uh, Melissa as it currently is, and these are the potential forecast tracks that it can take. You can see there are some outliers which uh, take it more towards into Canada, but um, we're not really expecting there very unlikely. The most likely setup is it goes further northeast. So whilst it is going to bring some wet and windy weather, for sure, it, it really doesn't look like it will be especially impactful. And so, um, you know, we it's brought devastating winds and rain to parts of the Caribbean. And so we just really need to be careful when talking about the influence that it's going to have on the UK because it's got going to be nowhere near the level that some other countries have had. Uh, and we just need to make sure that we're taking that into account because some tabloids, some headlines, they'll get uh, a bit excited perhaps by saying, Hurricane Melissa, it's brought devastation to parts of the Caribbean and now it's heading our way. And whilst that's technically true, it's going to be so heavily modified that it's really not going to be anywhere near as impactful at all. Now, this is a chart again from NHC. And this shows the wind speeds or the force of winds that parts have had. So you can see the deep reds showing where they had hurricane force winds and then some across parts of Jamaica into Cuba. Like I said, uh, sustained winds of 185 miles per hour. So a really strong damaging event. 
Then there was one other thing that I wanted to show you, but I've temporarily forgotten what that is, so I might have to come back to that one. But the, uh, the other thing that we wanted to look at then is generally the weekend weather and also what Melissa's impact is going to be on our temperatures. So if I just quickly run through the weather that we're expecting across the UK this weekend, I'll cover it more uh, in a bit more detail in a second. But the general idea being we have showery rain pushing its way, bands of showery rain pushing through today, and then another spell of showery rain pushing its way through as we go through later this evening, more so overnight, and then that uh, arrives. Now this low pressure towards the northwest, this isn't what was Melissa, it's this low pressure that pushes in later as we go through uh, more so into Sunday. Um, and therefore, we, we notice the isobars, they're tightly packed together, it is going to be blustery, it's going to be windy, really, as we go through the weekend, and plenty of showery bursts. Also some sunny breaks, some clear spells by night, sunny spells by day, but blustery with showery spells. And then, as we go through the probably the final few hours of Sunday, we see some wet weather arriving, the winds strengthen again due to this area of low pressure, and it's this that is the remnants of Hurricane Melissa. And you can see the the rain doesn't look especially heavy, but it's just going to be wet, it's going to be windy for a while. The thing that I wanted to mention that I temporarily forgot was if, and it isn't going to be, but if it was going to bring impact severe enough that we wanted to uh, warrant naming it, would we be calling it Melissa or giving it a new name, i.e. Bram, which is the next name on our list? And the answer is we would keep its name as Melissa, so we would refer to it as Storm Melissa. Now, worth bearing in mind, it isn't going to be a storm, or it really isn't expected to be at this stage. But I just wanted to point out, because you may remember back with Storm Amy, that actually developed from what was Hurricane Umberto. But that was slightly different because the low pressure center, actually, before I show you the gusts, <coughs> let's get back this up. The low pressure center from Umberto actually broke up a little bit and a separate low developed. And it was that that led to Amy developing. Meanwhile, in this instance, you can really see, just to track this back, the low that is Melissa keeps its identity of source. Yes, it becomes modified, it weakens, strengthens again a bit, and then weakens once more, but it's uh, it's still that same low. So had it come closer to the UK, or been forecast to come close to the UK, and had it still been a bit deeper by the time it reaches us, then it would have been Storm Melissa, even though it's reaching the UK. And in the past, Umberto didn't lead to Storm Umberto, it led to Amy. Then the last thing that I wanted to show you on this one, uh, and I got it up a second ago, is just the gusts that we can expect through this weekend and into the beginning of next week, because it is going to be fairly windy. It's already quite blustery out there at the moment, and we're going to see wind strengthen as we go through uh, the, the end of the day as well. If I just roll through a little bit quicker. Um, so yeah, so some blustery weather as we go overnight, some strong gusts of winds here and there, nothing too alarming. It's the end of October, almost November after all, um, but nonetheless it is going to be pretty windy. And then as we see what was uh, Melissa getting closer to us as we go through Sunday, again we are going to see some stronger winds, so some gusts strengthening as we go through the back end of Sunday and into Monday. But um, again, or actually they're not really showing up particularly, oh gosh, don't know why it's going black, but <laughs> we'll ignore that one for now. But the point being, it is going to be wet, it is going to be windy, but uh, nothing anywhere close to the scale of what they've seen in parts of the Caribbean. And really it's just going to be fairly standard autumn weather here in the UK.